Hello dear students. Now today I am going to take something off the track with respect to the subject chemistry. Of course, somehow or the other it is related but not straight away. Most of the times you have seen that you come across the numericals related to pH. And as far as pH concerned, its formula is negative log to the base 10 of H ion concentration. Now, in many of the cases I have seen that students are not able to get the values of such type of numbers when it is to be determined with respect to log. Not only that, when you are finding some ionization constant or for acid or a base and there again you have to find the value which are to be determined from log and anti-log. Again you are confused you, you, you and, and most of the times you know you are not allowed to have the scientific calculator, the normal calculator you are allowed to use. And in that I have seen students are doing jugglery, pressing a number for 13 times, subtracting from some other number. All these things are what is you are doing is just wasting your time. Instead, use a proper method, use log table and then calculate such a huge numbers in simple form. Today we are going to take the same. Now suppose as you can see over here, I have uh, furnished a few values over here. That is one is 23.32, one is 2.332, one is 233.2. Two. I want to perform multiplication for all the three digits, all the three rather numbers, huge numbers they are and you know they cannot be calculated without the calculator. We will do it over here with the help of log table. What I will do first of all I will write log of 23.32 that is the value the first one plus log of 2.332 plus log of 233.2. So what I am doing, I am considering log for all the three values. I have got a log table over here. First of all, I will just take out the log table. Simultaneously, you can also have the practice of getting log from the log table. The value for this log, for example, 2332. In the log table, you have 23. Fine. Along with that, you have 2, 3 that is there. With that you have the 3 number. If you proceed further from 0, 1, 2, 3 on the top, just below 3 on the number 2, 3, you will find that there is some value and that is over here. It is 3, 6, 7, 4. Fine. So that is 3, 6, 7, 4. To that, there is again 2 number and in the mean difference, on the column of mean difference, just if you slide down your finger, it is the value 4. So that is 3, 6, 7, 4 plus add that 4 mean difference is 3, 6, 7, 8. So I will write 3, 6, 7, 8 for this value. Mind you. Now how many digits are present before the decimal? They are 2. According to the logarithmic protocolic law, when the number of digits are whatever they are, subtract 1 from that. So now you have got two digits, subtract one from that and that will be one. So the value of this is 1.3678. Okay. There is a plus sign, so I'll add, place a plus sign. Okay. It is 2.332. I've taken the same values just to make the things short and simple over here. 2332 again from the log. First we'll go through the value 23 over here. It's given as... 2, 3. For that, there is a difference of 3. For 3, the value is 3, 6, 7, 4. And the mean difference 2 has the value 4. So we'll add that 4 in this previous value, 3, 6, 7, 4. And that comes to 3, 6, 7, 8. So I'll write again 3, 6, 7, 8. Now, before the decimal, there is only one digit. So I'll be writing 1 minus 1, that is equal to 0. Digit minus 1 is equal to whatever the number is over here. It is 0. Again, we have 2, 3, 3, 2. From the same, the value comes to 3, 6, 7, 8. Now, how many digits are there before the decimal? 3. Digits minus 1. 3 digits minus 1 is 2. So, place 2 over here. So, this total comes to 1 point, 0 point and 2 point. We will sum up all the 3 values over here. 
8 threes are 24, 7 threes are 21 and 2, 23, 6 threes are 18 and 2, 20, and 3 threes are 9 and 2, that is 11. 1 added, 2 plus 0 plus 1 and 1. So that comes to 4.1034. This is your log values. Now, what I will do? I will determine anti-log of this value. As I do so, is as I determine anti-log of this value, I will get the actual answer for multiplication of all the three terms. Okay. For that, we will again move on to the anti-log table. You can have it along with you. Now, you can see in the anti-log, whatever the values are after the decimal that you have to consider again. It is decimal point 10. Now, in the table, you will have point 10. Just place your finger over there. Then you have 3. So, place it 3 and just slide it up to point 10. It is 1. 2, 6, 8. So we will consider that term right now. But in addition, we have mean difference value 4. From 4 as you slide down, it will be value 1 and that should be added to the previous value 1, 2, 6, 8. So that comes to 1, 2, 6, 9. So I will place it over here. 1, 2, 6, 9. So now if you forget this 4 meanwhile, then it is decimal 1034 and if 4 was not there, supposing, then it was 0, fine, okay. If 4 is there, you do, you subtracted in the previous one, now you add in the anti log. So total digits should be 5. So we will move 5 digits from here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5th digit is this. So the value of this will be 1, 2, 6, 9, 0. Same thing can be written in the standard form as 1.2. 269 into 10 raised to 4. So the final answer for this 3 can be given with the log table. Why I am insisting you to learn this? Because when you are performing numericals related to log and anti-log, you will be requiring this in your mind to know how you can come, come to the conclusion by using the log table. Fine. Prepare well, we'll come with few more examples where there is minus sign for the anti-log. But prepare this well, practice well and you will get through. All the best.